Hi, my name is Rose Laval Sale. I'm co-owner of Morning Sun Herb Farm here in Vacaville, California. I'm going to show you today just some basics about pruning your lavender plants. You've been enjoying your lavender flowers now for the last couple of months, but now what do you do to make sure that your lavender plant stays nice and healthy and it's a truly a long-lived perennial like it should be? So I'm going to start from the beginning and I have a little bit of Grosso lavender. This one's called Fat Spike Grosso. I'm going to first just harvest the flowers to show what it looks like when you come through and harvest the flowers. These are plants that are about 16 months old, so they're not full-grown plants yet. This is really the time to start with your lavender so that you have a long-lived perennial that will look beautiful for 10 to 15 years. In the home garden, if you take care of your plant from the beginning, you will have a plant that does really well and looks good. So when people come through and harvest their lavender, they're so sweet about it. Now we have thousands of lavender plants, and so we don't really have that option of sweetly cutting each branch like this, because when you have several thousand lavender plants, you have to be in a bit of a hurry. But the first thing people do is they tend to prune all of the flowers off of their lavender. Now this lavender, is considered a little spent. So if I was going to use this lavender for oil, it would be too late for that. Um, you notice it's only got about 10% of the flowers left. Normally, you would uh, use this for a fresh cut flower when you've still got about 30 or 40% of the flowers not open. So we're at the back end of this plant being used for a fresh cut flower, but certainly it's not too late to use this plant for drying. So this is gonna be a great one to bundle together so that we can hang it in a shady spot and dry it for about five to seven days. And then it'll be perfect to use for crafting or cooking, to make potpourri or wreaths. When we get to this point, we put it in, first of all, we always have dogs. Welcome. So we use a rubber band so that as the plant dries, uh, it doesn't fall out. Raffi is so pretty, but a rubber band is more functional. We're gonna hang this to dry upside down so it dries nice and straight for five to seven days. Now for a lot of people, they would say, gosh, I've done so much work on my lavender, I guess I'm done. I don't need to do anything else to it. We have a second thing that we do though, and that is we want to really prune it back here. You want to prune back about 30 or 40% of the foliage every single time you uh, are cutting back the flowers. So if it, har if it blooms once in the year, you're going to prune it back after you're done um, with harvesting in the summer. Sometimes they come back in the fall and you get a second set of flowers and you're going to do this series again. So we come in and this is always a shocking thing to people. When I do that, I actually teach a class called A Day of Lavender. We come out and we actually do this and everybody goes, oh, no, you're killing it. Look how much I've cut back. Looks kind of ugly. Everyone goes, oh, you know, that's what I'm trying to avoid is this plant that has this little rounded mound. Now compare it to the one next door that I haven't done yet. Huge difference. Why would you do that? And that's because if you don't do this, you get a lot of dead wood. And we're gonna look at a couple plants that we haven't pruned properly and compare uh, what they look like just a few years later. If you prune back so that you've got some foliage down below, just like this, so see how there's still foliage down below? If you prune it back like that, then that plant will stay nice and green all the way just about to the ground for many years. So this is something we do every time we're done with our harvest. It looks pretty devastating, but it's actually the very best way to keep these plants going. So you can see how much we still have to cut back on these plants here.